jbeans.net. Freeport is a port town located on the southwest coast of Grand Bahama Island in the Bahamas. In this video, we'll provide an overview of our April 2022 visit to Freeport when our ship, the Carnival Legend, docked at the Freeport Harbor Cruise Center and we spent a few hours exploring the port area. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. The Freeport Harbor Cruise Center is located in an industrial area on the west side of Grand Bahama Island, several miles away from the beach and other attractions. If you're interested in exploring beyond the cruise center area, you can book shore excursions, take a taxi, or even rent a car. The cruise center area itself is easy to navigate, with plenty of signage available and similar venues being grouped together. Still, we do recommend going to the top of your ship to get an overview of the area before disembarking. As you look at the cruise center area, it's helpful to take note of a few sections. Looking from right to left, you'll see four white roofed buildings, which we'll call the office park because of their appearance. A traffic circle. A courtyard, which had a tent-like structure, but no actual tent during our visit. A straw market, which was also called a craft market. Food shacks. Souvenir stalls. And some larger buildings with restaurants and gift shops. Before exiting the ship, make sure you bring your ship's card and a government-issued photo ID. During our visit, we were also told to carry our COVID-19 vaccination cards. After exiting the ship, we walked a short distance to the entrance of the cruise port area and arrived at the brightly colored buildings of the office park. The buildings included a few souvenir shops, as well as restrooms. We spoke to a few of the ship's crew members who were using free Wi-Fi in the area, and they said the connection was good enough to make video calls back home. After browsing around the office park, we went to a gazebo that was located nearby to take a family photo with our ship's name in the background. We then retraced our steps, walked past the office park, and headed to the courtyard. The courtyard was used as a meeting place for guests who booked ship-sponsored shore excursions. After a meeting at the courtyard, guests walked as a group to shuttles and buses that were waiting at the nearby traffic circle. A Harley-Davidson shop was located at one corner of the courtyard. Nearby, a Welcome to Freeport Harbor sign was located on the opposite side of the traffic circle. The sign was a great photo op with our ship in the background. There were also a few locals selling souvenirs in stalls that were located on the sidewalk around the traffic circle. The straw market, or craft market, was located on the east side of the traffic circle. There were several small shops in the market, as well as restrooms. From the straw market, we walked back toward the ship a bit, to the food shacks. There were a number of colorful shacks selling local food and a good amount of outdoor seating available for enjoying a meal. Another Welcome to Freeport Harbor sign, which was larger than the sign at the traffic circle, was located nearby for a great photo op. 
As we walk through the food shacks area, a local was directing guests to nearby taxis for traveling to Taino Beach. During our cruise, we were quoted a price of $7 per person one way, plus $12 per person to enter the beach area. The prices were consistent with what other passengers told us they were quoted. We continued walking to the souvenir stalls and found several locals selling products out of the small, colorful shops. Like the souvenirs at the straw market, the products were very similar to what we've seen in shops at other ports throughout the Caribbean. As we headed back toward the ship, we stopped by the larger buildings with restaurants and shops. Our first stop was the very popular Senior Frogs. In addition to a restaurant, bar, and gift shop, they also had some fun photo ops available. Our next stop was a Del Sol shop and a Karaloa shop that shared a single building. Our third stop was Dick and Willie's Daiquiri Bar and Grill, which was another spot to grab some food and drinks. During our visit, they offered free daiquiri samples. Jellybean was a big fan of the swing seating they had available at the bar. Our final stop was the Sharky Shop, which had even more souvenirs available for purchase. <music>